second time and I still don't know how to start. Um. Welcome or welcome back. I know I have been gone quite a long time. Um, since January to be exact, where I uh, used my Hobonichi day free. But I stopped doing that in March. I should have known I'm not a bullet journal type of person. I don't like drawing my own layouts every month or every week. Um, I just want a planner that is dated and where I can fill out stuff without having to... Uh, draw layouts anyway i've i've been away because well reasons including a cross-country move but the biggest reason i have to say is uh, that i just didn't have anything interesting to show apart from this planner which i'm going to talk about now i have been using it since march uh constantly there have been uh, no pauses it is the uh, nolte listy one nolte is the brand they have a lot of different layouts um, sizes types of planners like really a lot i would suggest to just find something on the internet where uh, it's explained but I will be linking this planner on the Amazon Japan uh, site where I myself bought it. And um, I'll try to link everything that I can think of and can find. Just just look in the description. If, if, if I have it and have thought of it, it will be linked down below. Anyway, so this is the Naughty, um Listy one, the size is like a slimmer A5. Um, I the only thing I can could compare it with is a uh, regular uh, TN insert, but wider. I so it's like 219 millimeters times uh 223 millimeters so that's yeah um it comes with this a uh, cover um it's it's actually a white just cardstock booklet i'm i'm not going to take it out now uh it comes with this cover that looks like leather but it's it's plastic it's just some sort of vinyl i don't know the cover has a like um pocket and like a smaller pocket and a pen loop which mine broke a bit and i had to use scotch tape but i'm i don't i don't mind so yeah that's about the outside um when you open it it's just oh let me just okay when you open it it's just a blank like it's it's just blank and then you have the um uh, brand name and the year and um uh, four years overview like uh, the current the next last year and the one after the next year basically then you get into your uh, year overview where uh, i have used mine as just for like cleaning schedules and like trash collection days and stuff like that uh, which is quite useless now because we moved and this is still for the old house so yeah never mind <laughs> and then you already get into the uh monthly pages um they continue on until um march of next year 
So you have three months extra of monthly pages. They are very simple. They are just grid squares without almost no colors, just just some some reds. You have the uh, moon phases and the uh, days of the week, I assume, or whatever in Japanese. You have the numbers, uh, the, the, the days in English. It's a Monday start, which I very much enjoy because I do not understand the um, Sunday start. Um, so I needed this and it's very simple. It's just just a grid. I don't know the size of the grid, but it's smaller than a um, 0 0.5 grid. Um, but it might be a bit bigger than the Hoponichi. I don't know. I'm not going to measure it. Uh, you can see it. It's it's smallish grid, but it's nice for my handwriting. I don't write very small, but also not very big, so it's fine for me. After the months, you have the weeks. The weeks, um, let me just find one I haven't used, like this one, are also Monday start, obviously, and um, they are vertical with uh, some notes space here and on the side. And it, they are um, hourly from, well, the numbers are from 7 to 22, but you could like, um, it, it starts at 6.30. Um, you could use this, uh, this bit and um, this bit to make it a 24-hour um hourly if you if, if your schedule is different but yeah so it's very simple every every day has uh, the same amount of space some people like that some people don't i um i prefer this because um my schedule is a seldom uh, monday to friday and i have to work or my husband has to work on uh, the weekends, so I need the space. Anyway, I like it. And the weeks go until the last week of December. So the months go until March, but the weeks go until December this year. Now, uh, what? how have I been using? This is the current month's month. And I've just uh, decorated a little bit. I note down like events that I that I'm certain about or birthdays or like holidays and then uh, I plan as I go with the appointments and stuff like that but I very um, seldom have appointments where I know a month or two before that I will have this appointment so it's quite uh, on short notice. I also have like a tracker. Uh, here is a completed tracker um, where I just track some stuff uh, for the entire month and I just put dots and connect them when I've done this stuff, whatever. <laughs> the weeks, I just put down some info that I want to track, some stickers, uh, things that happened, appointments and a, a running um, to-do list weekly uh, where I just check it off if I've done it. Then I have, uh, let me look for one where I've used it. Um, yeah, uh, I used the uh, notes uh, space for some tarot stuff or just just stuff i i want to add there or or nothing or just decoration it really depends i had to do some technical stuff anyway so yeah um as you can see though i haven't used the like all of the space that i would like in the weeks after the weeks, you get um, notes pages, 
they are um i think like 34 or something or 36 pages i don't know i used mine as like a budget tracker just just a simple one i have a more uh, elaborate one online but this is just an overview for myself with like four categories plus a no spend day and yeah I've, I've done it almost every month and then I have like a bills tracker and like reading log writing log watching log just stuff like collection stuff you, like you would do in a bullet journal and after the notes pages you get like those subway and railway maps for I'm assuming is Tokyo which I don't need obviously then there's a chronology with like different info and a like your personal information and a ruler on the side I have just used uh, these um, metal Midori clips as a um, page marker and the pen I'm currently using is just a very simple auto race 0 0.5 tip um, quick dry gel pen in black it's very simple I, I can link it down below but yeah that's all I'm using now the paper is you can use the paper with a fountain pen uh, which I've done here and this is uh, like how it goes or bleeds you can use it I'm not currently but I sometimes like you can see I am but n not at the moment it's very smooth it's nice paper it's not Tomui river paper but it's a uh, good paper nonetheless and um yeah, now this this planner is exactly what I wanted um, in a cousin, in a Hobonishi cousin. However, the cousin was a bit too big for me and also it had the daily pages, which I uh, do not like because I am just not a daily planner. Uh, so I needed one with just months and weeks. The smaller Hobonichi only had the months and days, but not the weeks. I could get an insert, but I didn't want that. Anyway, so yeah, I I did have a look at the Wonderland 222 planner, which is also smaller and doesn't have the days. Um, I will link it down below also, so you can see what I mean. It had a lot of nice, nice layouts and just, it was months and with vertical weeks and Monday start and Tomo River paper it's awesome honestly the planner is awesome however um, the shipping was um, if I remember correctly the shipping was about as much as the planner or even more so I I did I could not justify that <laughs> so I went with this one it's not it's not too expensive. It's like, uh, I don't know, 20, 20 euro or something. Plus shipping uh, Amazon Japan, obviously. But you could, if you order more stuff from Amazon Japan, you just, yeah, you, you just pay shipping once. And I don't have to pay taxes because there's a lot of taxes uh, if I uh, order in a different online shop. So yeah, um, I I really enjoyed this and I still do. I will be trying the Hobonichi Weeks next from December on. But not because this one is uh, trash, but because um, I just don't have, as you can see, there's not a lot of things going on at the moment and I don't have a lot of plans. This is why I want something smaller. Maybe even smaller than this one, but still with the weeks. And I'm thinking the Hobonichi weeks. I first of all I've wanted to try one for years now, like at least four years. 
and I never did, so now I will. I'm not sure I will like the uh, horizontal layout of the wigs, but if I don't, and if I really do not like it, I will order another one of these for next year and I will go back to this because this is exactly what I need and want and very convenient and I love it. So I will make a video when I get my stuff from uh, Japan with the Hobonichi Weeks and some pens and um, other things that I've ordered. I'll, I'll make a video for you guys so you can see. I, I'm also thinking of making a video about all the notebooks and journals and just general books I use to write stuff down or note stuff down. Um, it's not a lot. Well, I think it's not a lot. There's people with a lot more, but it might be interesting. So I might uh, make a video on that. Anyway, so this was my Nolte Listy. I uh, hope uh, you liked it and it was informative. And I will see you next time. Bye.